On this episode of One Country 100 Days, we visit four states. We night paddle near alligators, visit freshwater springs, and test if the holo gear board will still work with two people on it. So I'm walking down to the beach to where we're going to go paddling here in Savannah, Georgia. You'll never guess what I found. Check this out. A dead alligator. Just belly up, flies all over it. St. Mary's, Georgia is the second oldest city in the nation. So in addition to the dead gator that I saw, we also saw a live one in the water. So I don't think I'm going to go for a swim right now. Doesn't sound that fun. Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta, Georgia. Out here at Jacksonville Beach, have a little fun. So we got to Jacksonville last night and went and played on the beach. And then when we got back to the car, it started making a weird sound. I think it's the differential. We added some oil, the sound kind of went away, um, but we're gonna go take it to the mechanic now. Car looks good now, a little low on differential oil, but now we're good to go. We drove down to Silver Spring State Park in Florida, about to go for a little paddle. Been told that there's a lot of monkeys here, so hopefully we'll see some. Florida is not the southernmost state in the U.S. Hawaii is further south. Gatorade was named for the University of Florida Gators, where the drink was first developed. So I brought you guys out here to show you Silver Springs. Really beautiful. Best way to see it is definitely by paddleboard. So stoked that we got to see the monkeys. We also got to see turtles, tons of turtles, a couple alligators, thankfully no snakes, and tons of birds, a turkey. Also, there was a turkey in the tree. That was very weird. We're heading to Panama City to meet up with Gabriel Gray. So this is Gabriel Gray. He took us out today. What springs were we at? So we went to Cypress Springs up in Holmes County. It's about 30 foot deep. We went up there and did some rope swings and hung out. Had a good old time. Uh, he also does really cool adventures. We went to the Bob Marshall, the Buffalo River. And what's this upcoming trip that you're about to do? So I do a lot of conservation work, uh, trying to bring awareness to the waterways throughout the U.S. and get our youth involved. And our next trip, we're going to be packing paddle boards through the Sawtooth Mountains. Man, that was a beautiful spring. Unfortunately, on our way back, we stopped because we saw a little bit of trash. And so we uh, started picking it up. Next thing you know, 40 minutes later, we're still within the same 0.5 miles of the river. We got all of this trash. Uh, I just want to say, if you think, oh, it's just one can, and you throw it, well, 100 people think that, and that's already 100 cans. While we're in Panama City, we might as well come to the beach. So we're out here at the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty warm water, it's pretty green, and nice white sand. We made it out to Alabama. We're at Dog River Park. It's where like the five major rivers meet up and go into the Gulf of Mexico. So we just thought of something. We really wanted to test these holo gear boards. And so we're both gonna hop on the holo hoss. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Woo! Trying to balance the other person. That water's gross warm. That water's gross warm. You want to switch? That's right. Ready? Ready? No. Okay. Go. <laughs> Your paddle! <laughs> 
Alabama workers built the first rocket to put a human on the moon. We're gonna try to both do yoga on the same board. The pecan is Alabama's official nut. It was a lot more difficult to get two people on the hall of Haas than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it was fun though, good experiment. We just arrived outside Jackson, Mississippi at a reservoir. A little less humid here, a little bit warmer because it's later in the day, but we're about to go for another paddle. Elvis Presley was born in Mississippi. The Mississippi River is the largest river in the U.S. On the next episode, we cliff jump, ride ATVs, and paddle in the biggest waves yet. The next episode comes out on July 21st at BordersMag.com.